Welcome back Morales to this video in which I'm gonna show you how you can detect possible token spams and this can also be used to detect possible NFT spams. We've collaborated with a partner that verifies many smart contracts and they take many factors into considerations when they put this label on the different tokens. So we can get the spam possibility if it's true or false and depending on the value we can display if this is a spam or not it might not be but it's a high probability that it is so in my example we can see the token spam detection and if it's true that it might be a spam i've added this red label with the text spam on it and we can see that this wallet holds many possible spam tokens and if we scroll down we can see that it also has some that seem to be legit so we have Shinshu Inu, we have uh, Muni and many, many, many others. So this is very easy to add to your new dApps and I will show you how to do so stay tuned and let's get into it. Hey, I'm Joseph, your Web3 instructor from Sweden. I've been into crypto since 2017 and have been building in the space since 2021. In my free time, I enjoy playing paddle, going to the gym or hanging out with my dog. I always try to enjoy some good pancakes, but that's for another time. Now let's get back to the video. All right, so I've created this folder, the spam detection, and actually we only need one single endpoint to get this data. And you will see how you can add this to your already existing dApps if you want so. And it's gonna be very easy in just a few minutes. So let's go into backend and I have installed a few dependencies. So we're gonna need to use Morales express.env in course and also add this start script. We're gonna add our API key inside the .env file now, if you don't have one already, make sure you create your Morales account. Uh, and I would recommend you to go with the pro plan. It's only $49 and you will get so much more than just the free plan. But this is only if you're serious when building within the Web3 space. You get so many compute units, you get unlimited daily compute units and you never have to refresh your API key. But with the free plan, you need to do that every three days. So make sure you go with the pro plan. And once you've done that, log into that account, go to Web3 APIs, and here is your API key ready to be used. So let's copy it from here and use that inside our .env file. Then let's create the backend server. It's an index.js file. We're gonna have an express server on port 5001. We're gonna use process.env to get our API key from within the .env file and we're gonna store it right here. Then at the bottom, we're gonna use morales.start function to pass along our API key and also start listening to our server. Now, this is the only endpoint we need. So we're gonna have a get endpoint on slash get tokens. We're gonna get that wallet address from the input field on the front-end client. We're gonna send that to the back-end client using the parameters, and then we can query it out and use it right here uh, as a parameter when we call the get wallet token balances. Now, this endpoint has existed before, but we added this parameter to it so we can get and we can filter the possible spam tokens for this specific case. And the NFT endpoint has the possible NFT spams. So once we get the response back, let's just send it back to the front end client and jump in there to do our magic. So it's a Next.js application and within the index.js page, we render the header and the main component. The header being the logo and this title right here and within main that's where we do everything so we're gonna need to install axios and also web3 uikit slash core to get this lightning uh, component that morales provides us so we can only focus on adding the web3 functionality and the front end being so simple using these components right here so we're gonna have these three state variables we're gonna have show result set to false, result set to an empty array, and then the input value sent set to an empty string. And once we start typing inside the input field, we're gonna run this handle change function that's gonna store the value inside this input field state variable. And once we click the button, we're gonna run this handle submit function, which is going to use that input value and send it as a parameter to our backend server when we use Axios to do this get request on slash get tokens. And then once we get the response back, we uh, set the result to that value and then we set show results to true. So down here, when show result is true, we're gonna map through the results array and we're gonna add this illustration component, which includes this uh, logo right here.
few minutes to create or if you want to add this to your own already existing application you can just uh, either if you're already doing a request to this endpoint you can extract that parameter or if you're not making a request to this endpoint you can do it very simple as shown in this example you can also try this out before on our website if you go to uh, api references under the evm and then you go to token api get balance and get erc20 token balance by wallet so you can click try it and then scroll down right here you will see the result and this is actually the array we're getting back when we do the request inside our app and this is the results array we're mapping through and we can see that possible spam is true and for this one as well and if you scroll down you will probably find one that's false so that's it guys let's go back to the application let's paste in another wallet address to show you once again how easy it is to get these nfts along with the spam or no spam probability this is a perfect added feature if you're creating a wallet and you want to display for the user if their nfts and tokens are potential spams now make a comment below if you want us to create a wallet extension adding this feature to show you how you can do it and also make sure you smash the like button and i will see you in the next one